We are going online with our web producer, Doug Stewart. Good morning, Doug. How are you? Good. Uh, we're talking about something that blew up on the internet last week. Uh, Cook Source magazine, which okay. is based out of Western Massachusetts, Sunderland. Um, this woman was going along, and she's a writer, and she's a food writer, and she found that Cook Source took one of her articles oh. and put it online and apparently put it in the magazine. Did they attribute it to her? They did, but they didn't pay her for it, nor did they ask her permission. Mm. So she went and she started an email exchange with this woman, Judith Griggs, who is ostensibly the editor of Cook's Source, and said, you know, what's going on here? And the woman said, well, you should be happy that we printed it and we edited it for you. And by the way, I'm not going to pay you. And everything is on the internet is free. So mm. the woman who wrote the original article put it up online said, this is crazy. And of course, then the internet went, it exploded. This went on Facebook. There were stories all over the place about this. So what's going to happen? Well, what's happened is that everyone piled on to Cook's source and determined that she had, uh, the, the magazine had uh, taken articles from Martha Dean, I'm sorry, Martha Stewart, uh, uh, Paula Dean, the Food Network, photographs, just like virtually everything in this magazine. And compiled it. And compiled into it one. without giving mm. attribution or paying for it or anything. So what's going to happen to them? Well, uh, it's unclear. Plagiarism is a civil matter in most cases, and not all cases, but in most cases, it's a civil matter. But they, uh, the, they, the woman who uh, edited the magazine has apologized kind of um, and said we're not going to we're going to change our ways and all th things like that and she's made a what the original author wanted was a donation to uh, the Columbia School of Journalism for $130 that was 10 cents a word oh. so the uh, the cook source has said that they've made that donation they're going to change their ways and um, it's interesting. It's an interesting case of, you know, the crowdsourcing right. of people who figured out what Cook's source had, Cook's source had taken. Tongue twister. And uh, and how they reacted to it. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of times it was it was pretty vicious. You know hmm. what they what they said to this woman. Right. And the spill out factor was the people who advertised in this magazine who were small business owners in Western Mass who right. really didn't have any, and they're getting a lot of flack for mm -hmm. this. So they're kind of the unintended victims of all this. Interesting. Well, we'll see what happens, how it all turns out. Yep. Doug, thanks. Thank Rachel, over to you. All right, Sarah. Right now we do have. Uh